we have a great game on our hands for the kickoff for Samuel Mateo, number 15th ranked Miami take on the reigning national champions, number 5 ranked Nebraska. The Cornhuskers are home, it's a hostile environment, it should be a really good game. Sit back and enjoy. And here is the kickoff, the Hurricanes are going to kick it off to the Cornhuskers who are going to open this game. And if you did not know, Nebraska absolutely dismantled, destroyed Oklahoma in the national championship game, putting up 60 plus points. Oklahoma, two straight national championship appearances, lost both of them, first to Alabama, then to Nebraska, just brutally both times. Nebraska second and 11. Tommy Armstrong is going to keep it, breaks a tackle, he's still running, stiff arms another defender, but he fumbles the ball, and Miami picks it up, wow, what a way for Miami to get the ball from Nebraska, Tommy Armstrong fumbles it after just a, what looked like an amazing run there, first and 10, Samuel Mateo, a familiar name, Duke Johnson gets the handoff, picks up three yards. San Juan Mateo, the Hurricanes believe he is the spark they need for Miami to just get to being the contenders for the national title. Third and ten. Let's see if Mateo can convert this. Let's see if he can prove he is who Miami thinks he is. And connects with Malcolm Lewis for the first down. Another third down. Miami is having a difficult time moving the ball on Nebraska. And here it is, and he nearly gets picked off by Tim Seward. Fourth and ten, Miami's gonna go for three points. It's a quick short drive by Miami. Sam Mateo and the offense not really doing much there. Third and three, let's see if Tommy Armstrong and this Nebraska offense can get the first down. Play action, Armstrong throws it away. They don't get the first down. One of two for four yards so far for Armstrong. First and ten here is Samuel Mateo. Connects with Herb Waters and they pick up the first down. Twelve yards there on the play action. And they come after him hard for a sack. It's a big sack by Nebraska. Leading the nation in sacks last season. They're coming after Samuel Mateo. Third and 18, here's Mateo, time to throw, connects with DeMar Jones, he breaks a tackle at the 10, they are not going to get him, and he is in the end zone for a 61 yard touchdown. What a way to make up for the sack. Second and 8, Nebraska is down, 10 to 0, here's Armstrong, he's going to cut inside and picks up the first, he's still not down. Picks up the first down and more. 17 yard run. He is definitely running quarterback. We saw that in the national championship game. They could not stop him. And he's still going, fighting for the first down. He is putting this team on his back. Third and one. And there is a false start by Nebraska. That's going to push them back a little bit. Just within a yard of the first down. Third and six now. They are in hurricane territory. And a man in motion, here's Armstrong, he's going to keep it right up the middle for another first down. He's getting this on his own, just on his own legs. Putting the team on his back, like I said, and he completes the pass for another first down for Nebraska. Just a good, a great drive so far. They know they are down and this could get out of hand quickly. And another first down for Nebraska, Imani Cross gets the first down there, second and goal. In the shotgun here is Armstrong, pitches it to his running back, and he's in the end zone for a Cornhusker touchdown. And they are within now. Three points after the extra points. A minute left in the first quarter. Here it is Samuel Mateo. They're coming, and they deflected it. Not a great offensive line for Miami. They really have to step it up. Not a great performance, I mean. They really have to step up and protect Mateo there. Here's Armstrong, breaks a tackle. He's still running. He's still on his feet. Picks up the first down into Hurricane territory. Second and two. Tommy Armstrong keeping it for himself again, and he picks up the first down. 19 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Another keeper by Armstrong, but this time it is a tackle for loss. Second and 12. That's going to end the first quarter. The underdogs are on top right now, 10-7, it is a three-point game. 
Here is Nebraska, a big third down conversion they're looking at here. Third and 12 is a screen pass, and he gets the blocking, and he runs out of bounds. Fourth and three. They're going to go for the three here to tie this up, and they do it as a tied game now. Second and nine. Here's Mateo dropping back and way off target there. Not sure what that was. Third and nine. It is a hostile environment. Mateo cannot let that get to him. He's going to keep it on his own. He's going to try to get the first down himself. And he does on his legs. Gets the first down. Ten yard run. Second and seven. He's going to hand it off to Duke Johnson. And only a couple yards. That's what all the runs have really been looking like. Nebraska's run defense is just dominant. They're unstoppable. And it's a pick by Nebraska. Bad decision by Sam Mateo. And they are able to trip up the defender. He looked like he was going to get into the end zone. And that could be a game changer. Here is Nebraska. Great field position here, third and four. Armstrong is going to try to keep it, but he's brought down for a sag. And that's a good stand by this Hurricane defense, forcing them to go for three. And they do get it, and it is a three-point game. Once again, Nebraska is on top. First and ten, here is Mateo handing it off to Duke Johnson, and he's brought down. No gain there, second and ten. Just a tough, tough run defense here. And here's Samuel Mateo on the screen to Duke Johnson. And he is still not down yet. Just a yard shy of the first. Third and one. And they're going to try to get it. And Mateo hit hard. Brought down. They will not convert that one. Fourth and two. They are going to go for it here. Very, very risky move. Samuel Mateo is going to run out to the left and he is going to slide picking up the first down. That was a very gutsy call there by the head coach. Here's it is second and 10. Mateo throws it and is nearly picked off. He is forcing these passes. Mistakes. He's got to avoid these. Third and 10. Mateo gets the first down. Bo Sandlin picks up the first down to tight end. We haven't seen too much tight end action. And here's Samuel Mateo. Her waters connecting with each other there. Nine yards. Samuel on the play action. And it is intercepted by Nebraska. Benderis gets the pick. Mateo is struggling. This crowd is getting to him. Just the intensity of this game is just too much for Samuel Mateo right now. Some of the critics are just pointing at Miami going, I told you so. First and ten here is Nebraska. And it is a great run, great blocking. He's still on his feet, picks up the first down, 14 yards. Third and 12, let's see if this Hurricane defense can hold them. It is a screen pass, gets great blocking. Is he going to get the first? Yes, he does. 13 yards. Third and two, a minute and 40 seconds left to go in this first half of the game. And Miami gets the stop. Fourth and in inches, is Nebraska going to go for it? Yes, they will. Let's see what Miami can do here to stop them. And there's a false start by Nebraska's offensive line. And that's going to push them back. And they are eating themselves up about that one. And Nebraska does get it. It's a six-point game now. Field goal after field goal, 10 to 16. Here's Mateo trying to make up for the pick and is nearly intercepted once again. Davis Santos was right there. Third and 10, Samuel Mateo. He is struggling, throws it deep down the field and is nearly intercepted by Charles Jackson. Mateo is forcing pass after pass, wasting drives here. 10 to 16, Nebraska is up and Tommy Armstrong gets brought down for a sack third and 12 30 seconds left to go in the second quarter and he's brought down and Monty Cross cannot get the first down 24 seconds we've seen Mateo make magic in these moments but it's hard to say what he'll do here and he connects with Damari Jones 
19 seconds left to go here as Sam Mateo rolls out to the right, throws it deep down the field, and is intercepted by Jackson, who deflected the ball earlier. Three interceptions for Samuel Mateo in the first half of this game. Nebraska should be looking to just run out the clock here. They are up on Miami. They don't want to take any chances. 16 to 10 game, ladies and gentlemen. Number five ranked Nebraska up on 15th ranked Miami. Miami looked like they had some control there, but it was quickly taken away. Three interceptions for Sam Juan Mateo. The game started with a Tommy Armstrong fumble, and Miami took advantage. The big touchdown by Sam Juan Mateo to DeMar Jones. At that moment, it looked like Miami was taking control, but Nebraska quickly came back. They tied the game, and then they took two field goals to go up on Miami, 16-10. And Samuel Mateo, what is the decision going to be on him? I mean, he is struggling big time. He can't compete with this Nebraska defense. The big downside here is Miami has no run game. 20 rushing yards, even playing time. Big difference, three turnovers, and like I said, no run game. Nebraska has successfully shut down Miami's run game. Duke Johnson can't get anything, putting most of the pressure on Samuel Mateo, and they have successfully made him forced him into throwing interceptions and making mistakes. The good thing here is though that Miami gets the ball to start the second half. 152 yards by Nebraska. Miami, like I said, is struggling. They need to open up this run game and he's gonna hand it off to Duke Johnson. Breaks the tackle, spins out, and he's brought down after four yards. That's a hard fought four yards. Second and six. It's another handoff to Duke Johnson, and he's still on his feet, picks up the first down. That's a nice 13-yard run there. Here is Dallas Crawford, and he's brought down. No gain there. Third and 10. Aaron Curry to stop him. Let's see if Sam Mateo can make it happen. And it's nearly intercepted. The defender was right there. The receiver had to dive. Could not come down with it. Again, Mateo struggling here is Nebraska. Great field position, by the way. And Tommy Armstrong throws it away on a third down. They're going to have to go for three here to make it a nine-point game. And they do get it. 19-10. to 10. Miami is falling behind slowly but surely. Nothing is working on offense for them. Here is Duke Johnson getting great blocking and he is pushed out of balance but he picks up the first down. First and 10. Here is Samuel Mateo. He's going to get uh, this time on the option. Breaks the tackle. Breaks a few tackles. He's still on his feet at the 30. The 20. No one's going to get him but I believe I saw a flag that was just an amazing run by Samuel Mateo. And it's going to be called back. Stiff armed a few defenders on his way into the end zone, but they're gonna bring that one back. First and 18. That is a heartbreaker for Miami and their fans. What a play though by Sam Mateo. And here's Duke Johnson using his feet. Sam Mateo and his offense a third down. Third and seven. They should be able to get this one. And he somehow connects with Stacy Coley for the first down. First and 10, here's Duke Johnson again. We are seeing more run plays and he outruns the defender there and he cuts inside, picks up the first down. What a run by Duke Johnson. He's a speedy running back. And here's Dallas Crawford and he gets tripped up from behind after a six yard gain. That was great blocking on that play, by the way. Second and four, no mistakes here. And Samuel Mateo connects with Demar Jones, throws it slightly behind him, but it's good for a touchdown. Samuel Mateo putting them back in this game. And with this extra point, it is going to be a two point game. First and 10. Here's Nebraska. They want to build on this lead. And here's Armstrong. He's going to keep it. And he tries to stiff arm a defender. 133 yards rushing for. Nebraska, third and five. Here's Armstrong Jr. He's gonna keep it, but he's brought down for a sack. You can say for sure Miami's defense is keeping them in this game. They're doing a hell of a lot better than Oklahoma, that's for sure. And here is 
Sam Lomadeo handing it off to Duke Johnson as a tackle for loss. Second and 12. It's a screen pass. Duke Johnson getting great blocking. There's one more defender to beat. And he does enough to get the first down. Second and 12. Mateo under center, drops back, and he finds Bo Sandlin for the first down, 17 yards. It's a good drive so far. And he's going to hand it off to Crawford, who is tackled for loss, 3 yards. And that's going to end the third quarter. They are going into their fourth quarter. It is a two-point game. Both teams are on edge. Who's going to come away with this win? Are the reigning national champions going to win this or the underdogs, the Hurricanes? And he connects with Bo Sandlin again. It was a bit of a dangerous pass, but he threw it right on time. And here is Duke Johnson trying to find the end zone, but he's brought down third and one. Let's see what the Hurricanes do here. Mateo is going to hand it off to Duke Johnson, who gets enough for the first down, but they are not in the end zone just yet. First and goal, a new set of downs. Here's Duke Johnson, and he's in the end zone for a Miami touchdown. And they are ahead. 23 to 19, they're gonna go for two here. Here is Samuel Mateo, and he throws nearly another interception. But luckily, the defender drops that one. Either way, they don't get the two point conversion. 297 yards to 194. You can tell Samuel Mateo's mistakes are what kept the Miami team behind, but they are ahead now, 23-19, six and a half minutes left to go. Nebraska gets a first down, first and ten. Here is Tommy Armstrong, time to throw, and he connects with a receiver, and he picks up nine yards, second and one. Armstrong's going to keep it, and it's a nice run right up the middle. It's a big run there, 15 yards, third and seven. And there is a false start yet again by Nebraska. That's going to push them back. Third and 12 now. Nebraska looking to convert this. They can't afford not to convert this. They don't want Miami to take advantage of the momentum that they have. There's a screen pass. And he is still running. Is he going to get it? No, he does not. He's pushed out of bounds. And that's going to be fourth and six. That's a good job by the Hurricane defense. Nebraska will be going for it. Fourth and six. Let's see if they can get this. And Armstrong just, I don't know what happened there. The ball just hit the ground. And Miami gets it back. They're going to rely on the run game here. It's Duke Johnson with a nice run yet again. He has found his rhythm. In the second half of this game, Dallas Crawford's in the game now. He's going to try to get the first down. Yes, he does. Picks it up. Third and seven. Duke Johnson back in the game. It is a screen pass. Duke Johnson looking for the blocking. He does not get it. It's going to be a tackle for loss. Miami is going to go for three here to go up 26 to 19. And they missed the three point field goal. Nebraska with another false start pushing them back. First and 15, here's Armstrong. He's going to go for the run, and he's brought down for yet again another sack. Second and 16, a difficult situation they are in right now. Here's Armstrong passing, and he completes the pass, but they are short four yards of the first down mark. 104 yards for Tommy Armstrong. Not a great passing performance, I would say. Third and four, Armstrong's going to keep it, but he's tripped up by a defender that was already on the ground, brought down for a sack. Fourth and six, they have no choice, no option but to go for it. Here's Armstrong, he's going to keep it, and he breaks free from the sack, and he's brought down. That's going to be turnover on downs. What an effort by Miami's defense. Armstrong put in the effort as well, but just falls short. Here are the Miami Hurricanes looking to... Just run out the clock. Duke Johnson, just what a powerful run there. 11 yards. Here's Duke Johnson yet again, but he's brought down this time. Tackled for loss. Four yards, third and 13. Sam Long McHale with the ball. It is a screen pass. Here's Duke Johnson, breaks free. He's still on his feet, and he's brought down. And they're going to go for three here. Fourth and 14. Didn't, don't know why they didn't just run out the clock. But they get the 
three points. It is a seven point game. Nebraska, 19 seconds. They are desperate here. They have nothing to lose. They should just take shots down the field if, if they could, but they go for a screen pass instead. Six seconds left to go. It's gonna be spiked. Stop the clock, four seconds. The last play of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Are the Cornhuskers going to come back and win this with a miracle? Or will Miami stop them? Armstrong throws it deep down the field and is intercepted by the Hurricanes. And that is game. What a way to end this game. It was a close one. It was a tough game. But the Hurricanes upset the Cornhuskers. Despite the turnovers, the Hurricanes do win this game behind Duke Johnson's 150-yard performance. He really put the team on his back. He found his rhythm in that second half of the game. But the Player of the Game award goes to Damari Jones, who had two touchdowns, 95 yards receiving. A sloppy performance there by Miami's offense. They have to do a lot better. A strong defensive effort, though, holding Nebraska to 112 yards passing, 150 yards rushing, though. Player of the game, Damari Jones and Kamalu with two sacks and a forced fumble. Samuel Mateo has to perform a lot better. 53% completion rate, three interceptions, unacceptable. Duke Johnson, great game, 132 yards, averaging five per carry. And of course, Damari Jones leading the team with 95 yards. Main target for Samuel Mateo, two touchdowns. Up next, the Hurricanes return back home to take on number 22 ranked Florida. Stay tuned, guys.